Hey guys, it's Ashley from Ashley's Got Book Simon, and I have an exciting video for you. That's right, a book outlet, is it on that side? Yeah, a book outlet unboxing. Oh, obviously this box is open. I might have opened it before. Don't judge me. Also, don't judge me for how crazy I went on book outlet. I just feel like all my book outlet purchases can be blamed on Keisha at the Forsaken 707. She will deny that it's her fault, but deep down I feel like she's the one that drove me to this because she introduced me to Book Outlet and she knows I'm an addict and that I just can't stop. So yeah, Book Outlet, let me unbox this for you. So how about we not show you the side that has my address on it. That's always smart, isn't it? Ooh. It's a bigger box. So I got my bookmark, which I've been somehow. And for five dollars off your next order of thirty-five dollars or more, I will be using that, obviously. Then my receipt and all this paper. I don't understand where they get all this paper from. It's just ridiculous the amount of paper that is in here. Oh, so now I'm going to show you the book. I'm going to get that box off and then it's rather heavy. The first book that I got is The Accidental Werewolf by Dakota Cassidy. In my December book haul, I showed off Accidentally Caddy by Dakota Cassidy. And then I found out that it was actually part of a Accidentally Paranormal series. And this is the first one. So this girl named Marty, Marty Andrews, is out walking her teacup poodle when she gets bit by a mangy mutt. And suddenly she starts having really bad mood swings. The hair on her legs grows faster than she can shave it. And then this guy shows up at her door and he says, I'm sorry for biting you and turning you into a werewolf. And Marty thinks he's crazy, but yeah, she starts turning into a werewolf. And it just sounds fun. It just sounds fun. It's, it's just so cute. A cute design. Isn't it cute? Look, she's got a tail and there's her poodle. It doesn't really look like a poodle. It looks like a, I don't know, a miniature lamb. It, it doesn't look like a dog to me. But yeah, so I got that one. I'm excited for this. Reboot by Amy Tintera. I had heard nothing but good things about this book. It's about this girl named Connolly. She was shot three times in the chest. She died. After 178 minutes, she came back as a reboot. Stronger, faster, able to heal, and less emotional. The longer reboots are dead, the less human they are when they return. And I think she's the deadliest reboot in the Republic of Texas. And she serves as a soldier and she trains new reboots. So I heard, have heard like really good things about this book. Oh, I didn't even notice that. If you look, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like an indent right here and it's a barcode. How cool is that? And the spine is really cool too. Yeah, so I was very excited to find this on Book Outlet and I snatched it up. I snatched it up. Outpost by Anna Guire. Now for my booktube, Secret Santa, that I did at Christmas. Geraldine was my secret Santa, starring in 72, and she sent me Enclave. And this is the sequel to Enclave, and I believe it's about, like, zombies or monsters or something, and it's like a post-apocalyptic world. And I saw it, I thought, I should get it. I should get this book. That's the way a bunch of my book purchases go. I just say I need it. And this by Anna Guire. Did I say that? I don't know if I did or not. So yeah, I got this one. We're excited to read the series. And there's, look at that creepy hand. I got Death, Doom, and Detention by Dorinda Jones. I bought the first book in this series at a used bookstore. And this is the second one. I don't really know exactly what's going on. But I think it's paranormal paranormal high school stuff, impossibly handsome boys, supernatural powers, hot romance, friendship, school rival rivalries, suspense, and comedy. So I'm excited to read this. She also has an adult series that I really want to read uh, called the First Grave, the Grave series, like it's 
first grade on the right, second grade on the left, third grade dead ahead. So yeah, I'm excited to read this. Rush by Eve Silver. This is the game, book one. Probably another reason that I ended up going on Book Outlet and ordering these books was because I got an email from Book Outlet and was like, look at these new books that we have. And I said, oh, look at these new books. I must get them. So this one is Rochester, New York. High schooler Mika Jones is pulled into a sort of game in which she and other teens must battle real life aliens and the consequences of each battle could be deadly. I didn't know it was aliens, but you know, go figure. Go figure. Ooh, there's an eye. I see you. So yeah, excited. Excited, excited, excited. And it's pretty. I like that blue. And the cover is pretty too. Yes, it is. The Turning by Francine Prose. Cover by, let's be honest, cover by. And I didn't know it was going to be so teeny, teeny tiny. I think this is like a retelling or reimagining of the Turn of the Screw or something like that. Ooh, look at that. Scare house. Scare house. It says it says nothing. That's what it says. But look how big the type is. What do they think I am? Twelve? Or not no offense to twelve year olds. Maybe like seven? I don't know. These words are huge. No reason for it. A dark house, an isolated island, strange dreams, and even stranger visions. So it sounds good. And I cannot wait to read this. I hope I hope it is good. And I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's on there and it's kind of cool looking. Right? Yellow is the compound by who is this by? S. A. Bodine. And I think this book is about a girl who lives in an underground bunker. Her family or her father has said that, you know, topside is not safe or whatever. And then she wants to get out. I think I had seen the sequel for this book somewhere, and I thought, hmm, the sequel sounded good, so I better go with the first book. It says, safe or sorry. You know, this kind of reminds me of Ninja Turtles, the sewer. Do sewers ever remind you of Ninja Turtles? That's a question I want you to answer. This Plague by Michael Grant. Uh, this is the fourth book in the Gone series, and I'm just trying to kind of build up my Gone series collection because I love the Gone series. And I still haven't read the last book, which is something I really need to do. This is Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. This one has bonus content. Whoopity doo da. I think this is about mermaids. And then since that, I got that one, I decided that I was going to get Of Triton by Anna Banks, which is the sequel to Of Poseidon. But look at this one. Look at this one. Why is this one so short? That, why? Why? I like a little longer books. I feel like I'm really accomplishing something when I read them. I got those two books. And then the last book in this book outlet haul is Another Little Piece by Katie Karis Quinn. This is about a reckless wish taken from the darkest desires of the heart, a bloody razor engraved with the names of girls who turn to dust, an endless cycle that feeds off loneliness and craves dis destruction. Together, these pieces form a twisted puzzle that Annalise Rose Gordon has to solve. Trapped in a body that isn't hers, with no memory of how she got there, she must unlock the secrets of her past in order to escape the horrors of her future. It sounds good. I've heard it described as a little dark, and I like that. And look, it's got like a razor on it. Ah, oh, another little piece. So yeah, that is my book out uh, haul. I'm a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie, I wanna go back on there. If you've read any of these books, tell me how you liked them. Uh, if you want to read them, tell me that too, cause I'm curious. Like the video, leave me comments, and subscribe, cause I love all three. I'll see you later, bye!